Hello and welcome to the Shed Shack Lab. Uh, just a quick amateur radio video today on how to connect Win for Icon with Log for OM2. So I have Win for Icon installed, and within the settings, you can see here I have my radio connection, which is on COM3, and also I've got installed Log for OM2. Now I'm using the evaluation of uh, Win for Icon just to see how I like things, but I was using uh, Log for OM anyway. Been using that for a while, but with both of these running at the same time, you can't connect them to the same COM port, i.e., the radio itself. So you need a piece of free software which is called COM Zero COM. So you need to get that installed. You will see. A pair of COM ports already set. Now these will probably be just some random letters, etc., that don't make any sense. So just go ahead and swap that to a couple of COM ports. Here I've using COM13 and COM14, um, which should be outside the range of anything else you might be using. So with those two COM ports set up in COM0 COM and applied. You can now go into the settings of Win for Icon and within the third party software tab on the uh, first column, if you've got anything else set up, that is, um, on your auxiliary cat port 1, you put in COM port 13, COM 13, I should say, and the board rate and your tag is just the name of the software that you're going to connect to and you connect on this button here. Next in log for OM2, going to connect the cat, show cat interface. Here you've got your rig type and then the COM14 into that port. Uh, get the board rate the same. Uh, I'm not too sure about these details. And then you just OK out of that. Within Win for Icom settings, under the third party software hardware tab again, you can get it to auto launch log for OM2 on start of um, Win for Icom suite, or just after. You can also set it to close on exit, but I like to leave that unchecked in case I'm still logging. So we'll just start up Win for Icon Suite. Like I say, I'm still using the evaluation at the moment. That should start up. The radio is already on. So Win for Icon started. Log for OM2 is starting up. I just have half a screen on this monitor and the other half of the uh, program goes on the other monitor. So all the details I want really are here. So I'm just looking at the one screen. So I'm just waiting for log for OM2 to start up. As you can see here, we've got the frequency of the radio that the radio is already set to anyway. I'm just waiting for log for OM2 to start up. Sometimes it's a little bit slow. And up here you can see the uh, it's got the same frequency filled in. Uh, the band, the mode, etc. So those uh, COM ports are linked together. Occasionally when log for OM2 starts up, you might not get these details filled in and you know there's something probably gone wrong with the uh, the linking of the COM ports uh, between the two programs. I've noticed it happen occasionally. I'm not too sure why. There may be other better COM port um, emulators out there but the uh, com0com is a free 
download and seems to be recommended by most people. So just to recap, first of all, install your win for icon software. Install your log for OM2 software. Install com0com. Add your two com ports here and apply. Within your settings on win for icon Again, make sure your radio is set up in this section. In the third party software hardware, COM13 on the port, board rate, the tag which is the program that you're using for that COM port to go to, log for OM2 within your CAT interface, the other port, in this case COM14. So that's setting up win for icon with log for OM2. I hope that's been uh, helpful to you. Um, if you've got any questions or need any help, just leave them down in the comments. So many thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like, uh, tick that notification bell, all those things. And uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Many thanks.